What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Legends RC's Nuzlocke. In today's video, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't quite remember what we're doing just because it's a new day and I slept and I don't really remember what all we have to do. I mean, it tells us here, right? Okay, we gotta go to the commander's office in Galaxy Hall, but it appears there's actually a couple of requests I didn't know that those were marked on the map, to be fair. Where? Okay, so I gotta go this way. But, what am I doing? We gotta do a team recap because uh, not really much has changed. I just put the mons that we currently have on our team in the layout. I said I was gonna do grinding, uh, and I ended up not doing grinding. Mainly because the beauty flies or whatever didn't spawn um, where they. Uh, where I found them originally, uh, they were actually replaced by Drifloon because it actually turned nighttime, which I don't quite understand why it's nighttime in game right now because it's 11 a.m. as I'm recording this, so it's kind of odd that that's the case. But we got our we got our team uh, here. Hopefully, hopefully we can move on and not get our ass beat as bad. Uh, as we did in the previous episode, but we got Travis, our Starly, at level 12. Um, Gus, Quick Attack, and Aerial Ace is the moveset. We got Simone, our Geodude, at level 7 with Rollout and Tackle. We got Dante, our Ponyta, at level 10 with Tackle, Ember, and Double Hit. We got Jet, our Boezel, at level 3 with Quick Attack. And then we have Jane Doe, our Stantler, at level 12 with Tackle, Confusion, and Hypnosis. And then... We still have the Oshawott on the team. I know it died in the previous episode, but I would feel bad if I didn't keep him on the team for right now. So that's what I'm going to do, mainly because I know of the final Evos getting a special form in this game. So I really want to have, I want to have that to see. I mean, it's not like I wouldn't be able to do it Anyways, but let's see what this guy has to say. Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professors say they do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see a different size with one lined up side by side. If there are really Buizel bigger than mine, I'd love to see them alongside the one I have for comparison's sake. I think the one I have actually is big. And you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you see where I'm going with this. You catch a weasel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? I'll make it worth your while. Okay, hold on. I don't think I'm ready to get rid of Jet like that. Unless Jet dies, uh, I'm not getting rid of him. Basically is what I'm gonna say to that. Who are you? Sanqua? I can't get a good night's sleep like this. Well, don't scare me like that. Something wrong? No, everything's fine. Whatever you whatever you need, come back later, alright? What's the matter? Hmm, maybe a survey corpse type like you could figure out what's causing this. Look, when I'm in my quarters trying to sleep at night, it feels like it feels like I'm not alone in there. Sometimes there's this kind of crackling sound. I found burnt berries a couple times, and once in a while I've heard something clatter. So, Survey Corpse Kid, go to my survey quarters and figure out what's happening. Just do it at night, would you? I've got to be at work during the day. So, would this be a. Yeah, would this be the perfect time to do this? I swear there's something in there. Check every nook and cranny for me, please. It's going to be plain as day, isn't it? Hold on. Let's, uh... Let's switch. Cloth has been pulled to one side. Short black hair. This is probably it. It's a faint smell, but it smells like berries have been present there. 
There's a noise from the entryway. It's probably a Drifflin, if I had to imagine. Do I just leave? No, I don't leave. Firewood. Do you want to peek inside? Yeah, let's take a peek. Some weird clothes and a cape inside. What about on the other side? It made a ghost noise, so it's somewhere nearby. something from underneath the cloth. You see sparks fly for a moment, but it seems like something ran by you. There was a noise near the back closets. Hello? as if they were recently moved. It's behind this. It's a Pichu! Survey Corps kid, are you alright? I heard this strange noise. Yeah, it's a Pichu. Wait a minute, this Pichu could be... could it be? It might sound absurd, absurd, but I think this might be a Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. Barry for me? What, because I fixed you up? Wait, so the thing haunting my court uh, my quarters was just a grateful little Pichu? Guess all that worrying was pointless to think I was afraid it was some spine chilling thing. Regardless, I owe you have a token of my gratitude. A nanab -na berry. It's probably for crafting. Sent to storage since there's no room. Where do we check storage? Because I was questioning this when it came to the mystery gifts. Uh, I think yesterday. I don't know which episode it was, but the mystery gifts. Because I put in the mystery gift code that I had to get the 30 heavy balls. But I don't have them in my satchel, so I don't know where they're at. In your survey corpse kid, I saw the darndest thing. Scouring the heartwood for crops we could grow in the fields when I saw it. This Pokemon called Cherim changed its appearance before my very eyes. It was in the evening, the light was very, getting dim, and all of a sudden Cherim's petals closed right up, so it looked like it was nothing but a little flower bud. Wow, I thought I just witnessed the miracle of evolution. But the next morning, when I went to check in on Cherim, it was right back to full bloom. But why would it bloom just to close back up. Is that how evolution work, or would it's the change I saw something different? When you finish up Charon's Pokedex entry, let me have a look at it, would you? Okay. I mean, there's not much we can really do right now. I could talk to this chick. What's your name again? Zisu. Here at the training ground, your Pokemon can master their moves or learn new moves. Uh, I want to exchange items. Uh, let's look at new moves. Let's let's do it for. Let's see what Travis has. You can spend money to get them moves like this. Wow. Okay. What about you? Holy shit, Rock Smash, Bulldo Bulldoze wouldn't be bad for 500.
That'd be really good, actually. I wonder... I wonder if this is as, like, a sort of compensation for, like, maybe TM's not existing? I don't know. This could just be, like, a typical move tutor in Gen 4. So, I could be reading too much into that. Calm Mind, though? Actually, what is... Is Stainler more of a physical attacker? I've always seen them as more physical attackers. So I'm not entirely sure if that's true or not. Also, because I don't know about Weird Ear at all, I'm kind of unsure as to if he's a physical or a special attacker. Um, I mean, it's a 465 mon, so that's kind of not great, but his attack and special attack aren't really that much different. Plus, we can teach Itbull those as well, which is good for coverage. It is good for coverage sake, so. Um, what is exchanging items? Uh, oh, all that stuff, okay. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll go, we'll go into the lab. I'm kind of scared to do this right now, just because I don't think our levels are great. Our levels in the previous episode were so much better, but now I'm kind of scared with how things have unfolded over the previous few episodes. Oh, there's more requests here. Which one would check? Bothersome Bidoof. Set things in order. Okay, there's that one. And then playing with Drifloon. So, what? Big Weasel. I can get a small EXP candy. Spring Mushroom. It appears, go to speak to Miki to learn more about the request. Bother some Bidoof. Okay, so to be honest, we don't really get that good of stuff from these side requests, but uh, the kind of nice thing, I guess, is that I could potentially focus on only story stuff for the main episodes, and then I'm looking for a picking stone, you see. Would you like many? Pickles, yes. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives on Deer Track Heights. Perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it back to me? I'll head home. Do I have more than one Geodude? I hope I have more than one Geodude. I don't want to have the same situation where I throw away one, like once Buizel gets killed or whatnot. We'll see. What do you intend to do about that Cleaver, Commando, Commander Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior of the Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. You can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adaman. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of Pearl's clan is concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. But even the folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems like someone's got to do something here. I feel like Cleaver's gonna fucking end our Nuzlocke run here, but... Hey, we can... We can hope not. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its honored nobles? 
I don't believe I said that, though it, though it may be. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver in such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is a first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm. I see you have arrived. This is Tristan, the newest member of our Survey Corps. Aha, I hear from my you earned Weirdier's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I'm Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. That's a mouthful, just call me Adaman. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be the space from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is set to reside? <laughs> Sorry. I'm Arita, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I did. Believe it or not. I have a proposition. Why not send this... One, to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done. Because that sounds like death to me. You send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver. This newcomer with no experience, says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of, brace of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If you... If how new you... Bar doesn't matter, then let's give this kid a chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this our or let's try this your way. This should be fun. I get to see how you how good you galaxy folk really are, with all your weird ways of putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made his Sui vest so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs for a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. It allows us to show what we can do. This is your mission now, Tristan. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth to, of the situation. I mean, if I can catch Cleaver, that would be fucking insanity, but I probably won't be able to catch Cleaver. He might kill me, to be honest. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Okay. Well, that's settled, and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleaver, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed by with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you yet encounter compares to his strength. Be warned. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us inner rovers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans, understand? Join me downstairs, Tristan. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Will you give me my second star now, or... Do I have to wait before I do that? Because I'm already capable of getting the second star because of the research task I've completed. But we'll see. Let's not jump too far ahead of stuff here. Ah, good, you're already here. Professor Leventon, the briefing, if you please. <laughs> yeah, let's get right to it. So, Tristan, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzy state. But as you are aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing, nigh invincible even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's f a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? I mean... Very well, then let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call Noble Seats. 
So perhaps a good starting point of our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. Tristan, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole nother world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides, the true Almighty Sinnoh that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that may, might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you must have been just swimming in the Divine's might. Well then, I've got a favor to ask you, oh amazing time traveler. Now just study, Cleaver. Well, it's frenzy. You certainly caught us at a good time, young Adaman. We were just discussing our next steps with regards to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, you must be the Galaxy Team Member Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those team, uh, Galaxy team people at all. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but uh, we all have got to share Hisui, and that means we've got to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver at the Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Lian. Lian is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. He'll tell you about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Anyways, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Sorry. Uh, he certainly left quickly once he finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adaman and Mai weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study, perhaps even quell Cleaver, you'd best you'd best start by visiting his abode. Our our new heights camp would be a handy place for setting out towards Grand Tree Arena, and you should stop by the pastures too. You'll want to choose the Pokemon the best to bring. Five medicinal leaks were sent to storage since there are no room for them in your satchel. I need to find out where... Where is storage? Because they sh certainly can't be... Hold on. Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across, satchel always seeming full. It sounds like to you, you'd be wise to lend me your ear for a moment and hear what I have to say. What is it? You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick of packing things in. I can teach you if you'd like. What do you say? Sure. Like your initiative. My teaching failure is a need 100. Yeah, whatever. Let me... You're here for a moment. Made space to keep more, one or more kind of item in your satchel. And that's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit by packing things in rightly? If you're able to carry even more of these things, there's more I could teach you. What do you say? Uh, I like your initiative. No, you're just gonna, you're just gonna keep doing that. I'm not gonna bother. But what does he do? I feel like he just gave me more. I feel like he just gave me more space. Like I don't feel like there was any increase or like there was any like thing involving the satchel but yeah I still don't know where the whole storage thingy mabobber is at so it's, it's weird I mean does it say anything on the map your quarters take a rest or change outfits front gate new request training grounds 
crafts work. General store, cloth here. This year's farm. I. I'm not seeing anything. Wait, is there more than. No, it's just the one over here. Because I always want to pick up the request, because I kind of want to. I kind of want 100% this game. You there, you seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me out with something? I'd be very, very grateful if you'd try to craft something useful using a special recipe I came up with. So without further ado, here's the recipe. Hokey she dolls. Three logs of wood. I've invented them, you see, as special items that we can make in the village. Uh, do you craft one and show me? Do I have? Do I have three? I have two. Bruh! Really? Whack. I mean, that's something that's gonna be rather easy. I mean, what do I, what do I even get for completing that one? What was that, 13? No, it was 18. I get the doll itself. Quite intriguing indeed. How are things, my good friend? I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Me to a degree. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, think nothing of it. Having the Survey Corps out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment of my own fortunes. So you say so. And now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. So we gotta go here. But we gotta go to the Heights camp, I believe they were suggesting. I believe they were saying that one was closer than the field. But now that we're here, is, is storage here? It, it is. I fucking knew it was. Oh my god. I was gonna say. But these can actually go. I want... No, I don't want to sell those. Can I put those in my bag? How, how do I put those in my bag? How do I do that? Oh, you can multi-select these? That's kind of cool, actually. That's good to know. I mean, to be honest, I don't need any sort of revives. So I almost want to sell these, but I also feel like I might need them later on. But now, how do I do... How do I take the stuff out of my... Is it here? Item storage. Okay, that's where it is. I can... I can take... There's no space for that right now? How? Oh. Thought there was. Alright, what's valuable? I feel like these are valuable, so I'm actually gonna put... Those in there. I'm gonna take these out for right now. A wild Pokemon will be calm to the yeah, I'll take those. To a third of its max. That's actually really good. Um Yeah, just keep all these right now. And then where where do we have to go? We have to go that way. Alright, if that's the case, then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. If you guys did enjoy this episode of Pokemon Legends RCS Nuzlocke, make sure you hit that like button down below because it would be greatly appreciated. Next episode, we're probably fighting Cleaver, if I had to imagine. Or we're going to be doing something involving Cleaver, so we'll just have to see uh, then and there. But like I said, if you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button down below because it would be greatly appreciated. 
Um, and if you don't want to miss out on these videos coming out, because I know that these are coming out like rapid fire, like we did with Brilliant Diamond, uh, at the end of the video, there should be a playlist uh, on the screen. So that should take you to all the videos that are uploaded. Uh, and if you want to see the you know, next video, make sure you're subscribed and have the bell icon clicked. Uh, so that way you are notified when these come out. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. If you guys want to follow my socials, such as Twitter and TikTok, both of those are going to be linked in the description below. I'm going to get out of here. Have yourselves a great day and peace.